but its journey begins here. The journey of a badminton ball begins here, where Kaki Campbell ducks are cared for in a clean, safe, and nutritious environment. Bathing helps the duck's feathers to be clean, soft, and naturally shine. This is an important step to keep the quality of the feathers at the highest level. A well-ventilated, odorless, and stable breeding environment helps the ducks grow healthy. The nutritional regimen is precisely calculated. When the body is healthy, the duck feathers grow evenly. Sunbathing helps feathers dry quickly, naturally kills bacteria, and keeps feathers soft, durable, and shiny. Daily health checks help ensure the ducks are always in the best condition. Feathers are only beautiful. Clean water is carefully filtered every day. Good quality water helps the duck's body stay healthy, feathers grow evenly, and keep their natural softness. Ducks are raised in a clean environment to produce the best quality feathers. Beautiful feathers start from healthy breeds. Naturally shed feathers are the cleanest and most the barn is cleaned every day with day with clean water and organic solution. Only feathers that fall naturally or from the slaughter process are selected. The worker puts feathers in a large bag and stamps the classification according to level. A strict disease prevention process is a must. Only absolutely healthy ducks can produce high quality feathers. Raw material is received under strict control conditions, ensuring safety and humane standards. Each duck is strictly health checked to ensure the processing meets biosafety standards. The processing process is carried out completely in an automatic and closed system, ensuring hygiene and food safety standards. The hair is softened and separated by an automatic system, ensuring cleanliness, safety, and no manual intervention. All hair is collected by a closed system, ensuring cleanliness, safety, and no manual contact. After being sucked into the closed system, the hairs are first sorted to ensure that only qualified fibers continue to the cleaning process. The sorted feathers will be bagged, sealed, and immediately transferred to the cleaning workshop to continue the standard processing process. The truck is coming to take feathers to the factory. Each batch of raw materials is fully inspected and recorded before entering the cleaning process. The feathers are poured onto the sorting table to remove large impurities before being put into the cleaning process. Pressurized airflow is used to separate dust and light impurities, helping the feathers become fluffy and clean before entering the deep cleaning stage. After being fluffed and separated from dust, the bristles are sent to the automatic conveyor belt to move to the deep cleaning stage. Before entering the deep cleaning stage, the fur is checked for appearance and moisture to ensure stable quality. After passing the preliminary inspection, the feathers are transferred to the wet processing area, where the cleaning process begins. The first stage of the wet process is cleaning gev, where rows of giant industrial machines take on the role of large-scale hair removal. The feathers are brought into the industrial washing drum where the deep cleaning process will begin. As the feathers are placed in the drum, water is sprayed strongly to evenly wet and wash away the first layer of impurities. When the cycle is activated, the washing drum rotates strongly to deeply clean each hair. The cleaning process takes place continuously for many hours, helping to remove impurities and restore purity to each hair. After many hours of cleaning, the lint becomes whiter and fluffier, but there are still small impurities that need to be thoroughly removed. High-capacity impurity separation system helps remove fine dust, small trash, and fluff, returning optimal cleanliness to the raw material. After being deeply cleaned, each hair becomes white, smooth, and soft. The feathers are heated to puff up and become fluffy again ready to move on to the fine sorting stage. Here, dozens of skilled workers will manually sort each feather, 
Only qualified ones are selected for badminton competition. Each hair is hand-checked. Curl, elasticity, whiteness. Only the perfect ones are selected. Even the smallest broken or deformed feathers will be discarded, and the standard for competition shuttlecocks is absolute. Each hair must be exactly the right length. A few millimeters of deviation can affect the balance and speed of the ball. After checking the curvature, elasticity, and length, the feathers are classified into three levels, of which only level A is used for competition shuttlecocks. After sorting, each bag of feathers is sealed and temporarily stored, ready to enter the manual processing stage. All raw materials must be completely sterilized before entering the manufacturing workshop to ensure hygiene and purity. Before starting fabrication, the environmental conditions are strictly checked to ensure absolute precision for each sphere. Every tool must be checked for absolute precision. Even a small deviation affects the entire sphere. The production space is constantly cleaned and controlled, ensuring all manual operations take place in absolutely clean conditions. EVA resin is melted and pressed into the mold to create the base of the ball, the foundation for durability and stable flight trajectory. Each bridge base must be drilled exactly 16 holes according to international standards, ensuring the spread and balance when attaching the feathers. Each hair is inserted completely by hand. Each operation requires almost absolute precision. Each bristle must be rotated exactly in the direction of its natural curve, to ensure perfect spread and aerodynamics. The rotating machine helps check the rough balance, detect small deviations before the worker adjusts the feathering by hand. The spread must be adjusted completely by hand, one strand at a time. Even a small deviation can change the speed and trajectory of the ball. The thread loop is tied entirely by hand, helping to fix the 16 hairs into an even and durable structure. When the 16 bristles reach a uniform spread like a perfect compass circle, the ball is ready to enter the speed and weight test. Final manual check. Spread, hung straightness, elasticity of the hair ring. The grip force between the base and the hair root must be absolutely standard so that the ball does not pop when subject to strong hits. Testing the overall elasticity with rotation and light pressure. The natural curvature of the feather determines the lift and flight speed. A few degrees of curvature can also cause the ball to change direction. The distance between the bristles must be completely uniform. Just a narrower slit will change the trajectory. The even opening of the bristles helps the ball to be stable in the air and create optimal lift. When rotating strongly, the ball must keep the axis absolutely stable. This is the factor that determines the act Static balance test. Determine whether the center of gravity of the ball is correct or not. The light vibration test ensures that the ball does not resonate when subjected to strong force. The light impact test helps simulate real contact on the field. A qualified ball must maintain its shape after impact. The edge of the bristles must withstand continuous friction without fraying or fraying. Edge impact test simulates an off-center hit. Side impact is a severe test for the feather loop. When rotating quickly in a strong wind, a standard ball must maintain a round shape and synchronous vibration. A light blow-up helps each feather maintain its correct curvature. After shaping, the bridge is temporarily suspended to stabilize the structure. A long line of newly completed shuttlecocks awaits final inspection. This is the highest level, A plus badminton for top competition. A-plus shuttlecocks are brought into the QC room for final inspection. 
Every shuttlecock before leaving the factory must be of perfect weight. Competition standard weight. Next, the shuttlecock is tested for speed using a standard shot machine. The flight path is recorded by a high-speed camera for stability analysis. All flight parameters are recorded and analyzed accurately. Each feather is tested for elasticity to ensure it can withstand force during competition. The wind resistance of the bridge is measured by an aerodynamic sensor system. Rotation is tested to ensure the shuttlecock is stable in the air. The shuttlecock is tested for its ability to withstand a strong impact. The results from all the tests are combined to rank the quality of each ball. Qualified shuttlecocks are sent to the packaging area for finishing. In the final step, each ball is inspected under standard lighting. The shuttlecock is rotated manually to detect any small deviations. The spread of 16 feathers is checked to ensure perfect geometry. After passing all inspections, the shuttlecock is affixed with a quality certification seal. Each tube contains 12 shuttlecocks, stacked by hand to ensure the spread of the feathers is not affected. The shuttlecocks are transported by an automatic conveyor system. From natural hairs to a finished, competition-grade product. From the assembly line to the finished product shelf. Ready for the next shots. A symbol of quality. From a tying feather to an international competition standard ball, it's a journey of precision, care, and craftsmanship. Absolute precision starts with each feather. This is the beauty of absolute precision. A seemingly simple shuttlecock. But hidden inside is an art. These shuttlecocks decide the whole match.